Hi, what's up, y'all? It's popping with cracking. It's D Boss Rex with this vid. It's titled Meg the Stallion Sneak This is Nikki, Cardi, and Ari Fletcher. Oop. I just reacted to Meg's new album. It is up on my Patreon right now. Check it out if you're interested. Link down below if you want to hear all of my thoughts and hear my reaction to each song. It is like a brand new album. It is uh, act two of her album, Megan, but she released 13 new songs. So dropped a lot of material, had thoughts about it, all of that, said everything I have to say. It's up on my Patreon now. I think she's dissing more than just Nikki, Cardi, and Ari, but um, I already spoke on that. Anyway, <laughs> let's hear what they have to say, though. Let's watch. Megan Thee Stallion dropped her deluxe album, and she dropped the music video like for her song, too. Bigger in Texas. And a lot of people feel like in this song, she was dissing Nicki Minaj or Cardi B. <laughs> And then she also said she's the youngest bee that's owning her masters. And some people also feel like she was throwing shade at Nicki Minaj. Never thought I would do with this I'm the youngest bitch owning her masters. Bitches all the, all the fuck stuck in a deal. So one person coming to the set, she skated on Oink Nika, said oh. the old broy was stuck in her deal. This was fire. Someone else says stuck in her deal and still the riches of them all. And this person feels like Megan Thee Stallion is dissing her ex-boyfriend Moneybag Yo's current girlfriend Ari Fletcher. And she said, I don't necessarily like Meg, but I like to, I have to admit she ate. Anybody listens to the lyrics fully though? Why well, sound like she's dissing Bag and Ari? I knew he was for the community bees like to stick around and get their heart broke. But I'm a bounce on a ninja like booty cheek. I don't know. I think she's sneak dissing. Someone else said that Bigfoot talking about masters when she just got all sold by Glorilla Meg is a joke. She whacking Cardi B up and down this deluxe. Own your masters, but ain't no revenue being generated. LOL clown show. Well, you guys, let me know your thoughts and opinions on that. I'm moving on to the next topic. So I'm sure you guys been seeing this all over social media. That Lil Durk has been arrested and charged with a murder for hire. So it says Lil Durk has been arrested in Florida for murder for hire. TMZ broke the story several members. They're giving an update. Chicago said he tried OTL to escape group, to Italy. That's to which crazy. Durk has ties. Were charged Thursday with the slang of rapper Quando Rondo's cousin. Durk was taken into custody by U.S. Marshals and booked into Broward County Jail on Thursday night. Authorities have yet to release details on his arrest. However, Durk's lawyers. Brian and Alec confirmed Bro, that the hip-hop star was busted by the marshals, adding that he will have his Ayana. first appearance Friday in federal court in Miami, Florida. As we reported Thursday, mm -hmm. the feds busted five OTF members in connection to the August 2022 shooting in Los Angeles that killed Quando Rondo's cousin. All have been charged in a federal indictment with conspiracy to commit murder for hire. The feds say the crime was committed in retaliation for King Von's death in Atlanta four years ago. And guys, let's get into this. They're saying that Lil Durk was allegedly trying to flee to Italy. Oh. So it says, update, Chicago rapper Lil Durk planned to take a private jet to Italy after his associates were arrested for the murder and hire plot. The feds say, now Durk is in custody in Florida, charged with putting a monetary bounty out for the you know what of arrival then it says in the bank's charging documents federal investigators said witnesses and or their family members have already received threats and or have been contacted in what appeared to be attempts to influence their participation in this investigation so this whole thing does not look participation in this investigation so this whole <laughs> thing does not look good for Lil Durk and a lot of people were saying like oh Lil Durk needs to slide for King Von and this that and third and it seems like Lil Durk then just slid himself right into a prison cell oh but you guys let me know your <laughs> shady not slid into a prison cell child um that's crazy not him trying to flee to Italy where in Italy I wonder they like ah ah I don't know why people do that. Like, what exactly occurs? I'm not too familiar with the law when it comes to running, <laughs> running away. Um, but if you do fly to another country, it's not like they can't get you. Like, it, it might be a bit more difficult for them to find you, but eventually you're going to leave some type of evidence that, you, that you're there and they'll be able to work with the authorities in that country and, and you know get you locked up and sent back to america right right 
So I'm like, oh, I'm in another country. You can't get me. Ah, ha, ha. Like, I don't think that's how it works. But I don't know the details, child, because I ain't never been on the run. Um, but, yes, this whole Meg situation, like I said, I think she was talking about other people as well. Y'all let me know what y'all think about the whole masters conversation. Um, because, yeah, I feel like there's a lot of conversation um, involving getting masters. Like, people are always talking about that. In their music and saying oh I own my masters or oh you're caught in this 360 deal and I'm pretty sure I've heard Nicki Minaj even speak about this and, and make fun of artists who are stuck in 360 deals and of course you cannot be in a 360 deal and still not own your masters uh, but yeah y'all let me know what y'all think is going on with Nicki and the deal that she she has or whatever the case but yeah, I already get my thoughts about all of this on Patreon. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know what other videos you're going to watch, and I'll see y'all the next time. Bye!